Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how to clean the cooling fans on a 2012 to 2015 Toyota Prius plug-in. This is not the same as the cooling fans on a regular Prius. This is a little different because there are two and they're in a different place. The first thing you need to do is take everything out of the trunk, which is probably the hardest thing to do. The tools you need will be a socket with a 10 meter, a 10 millimeter, not 10 meter, 10 millimeter socket a pair of pliers, just about any pliers will work, and a small screwdriver. So first, we'll remove the carpet from the back. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove most of what's back here, which requires this screwdriver. There are two plugs here and here. To remove them, you just fit the screwdriver in a little notch you'll see, not all the way under, but where the cap is, and the cap lifts up and then the whole assembly comes out. Okay, so that's one. Let's pop the other one off. That's two. This is really hard, isn't it? There's a little piece of fabric you lift up. That kind of hinges, so then you lift the rest of the piece off. Just like that, and we'll set it aside. Okay, then these two corner pieces will come off. They also have pieces you lift. So you, you're going to lift here because uh, there's a little tongue here. So if you lift from here from this fabric, it comes right out. Put that over here. The other one on this side. There's a tray here and a tray here. They both lift straight out. Straight out. Okay. And the other one has the spare tire refiller thing. pump and the goo which I pray you never use. Okay. Now the only part we have to remove is this tray here. So let's just lift it straight up, straight up. And out. And here are the two fans. They're held in place with three 10 millimeter bolts each and there's an electrical connector which is a pain in the neck to remove. Not really that hard though. You might want to use your iPhone or phone to take a picture from underneath to see where the connection is. I don't know if this will come out on the camera, but you squeeze it this way with pliers and it should come right out. Should come right out. There. So now it's off of the metal bracket and then you can push in on this tongue and it should slide apart or maybe push in with the screwdriver here to separate it. I really hate uh, these electrical connectors on Toyotas. They're really much harder to separate than they need to be. I think they're for people with fingers smaller than mine. There you go. So that's off. So now three 10 millimeter bolts. They have washers built in. So now these will spin right off. Spin right off. One. Two, and three, three, boom. Now you just pull it straight back. The little vibration washers are there, and there's the fan. This one's very clean. Um, I don't think you really need to disassemble it farther to clean it. I think you can blow it out with compressed air, wipe it with the rag. I mean, all you're trying to, you know, it doesn't have to be clean. You just want to make sure there isn't hair or something that's clogging it to flow it. So if there's like some light dust or dirt, it has absolutely no impact on the thing. So, clean. Put it back here, here, and here, and the three bolts. Okay, and then you repeat for the one over here with the connector there. 
I'm not going to because I think by now you've figured out how to do this. So I will put it back together so you can see that assembly is the reverse of disassembly. seem like something that's going to come flying off. So don't give it the gorilla treatment. There. Then this goes back on. Hopefully it didn't mangle this too much. Uh, I don't know. You can put them back together and then clip it in or clip it in and then put it back together. I don't think it matters, but that's back on. Uh, we repeat the same thing over here, of course. And now we're ready to put it all back together. We put this part back in. We put this part back in. Then uh, we go get this great big tray. And it's just going to drop back in. Oops, wrong order. They get to see me being a complete doofus. Okay. This goes back in. First, push it firmly. Not too firmly, it's plastic. Then the spare tire, tire inflator that you'll never use, hopefully. Then this tray that holds stuff that you don't have. Okay, and then these little guys. Remember, there's a groove here, so they go in like that. One, two, and then this piece here, without a leaf on it. Um, you just line the two holes up, put the plug in, put the plugs in here. And you're done.